Hello, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome back to the RSP Supply Education Series. In today's video, we're going to be talking about different types of terminal block connection types. More specifically, we're going to be focusing on the Phoenix Contact clip line terminal blocks. So today we're going to talk about the five different connection types that Phoenix Contact offers with their terminal blocks. The first type of connection is the screw type connection terminal block. That is shown right here. This is the most common type of connection that you'll find with terminal blocks. It's been in the industry for a very long time. You simply use a precision screwdriver to make the connection with a stripped wire. Let me demonstrate how you make the connection. You insert the wire into the terminal port and simply tighten your screw until your wire has been properly torqued. The next type of terminal block connection we're going to talk about is the spring cage connection, which are located right here. The benefits of using the spring cage connection are going to be, it's a much quicker way to terminate and disconnect wires. They're very safe and sturdy and secure, much like the screw type connection. Let me demonstrate how to make the connection. We first take a wire and strip that back about one half inch. We are going to need to use a precision screwdriver, which we will insert into the spring cage. And then we can simply insert our wire Make sure that's fully seated and then remove our precision screwdriver. We now have a very secure, safe, tight connection. The next type of terminal block connection we want to talk about today is referred to as PIT or push-in terminal. The benefit of using this type of terminal block connection is a tool-free connection. This allows operators to easily remove and reinsert wires without the need for any type of tool. For the wire that's used on a PIT or push-in terminal connection, we need to make sure that we're using a ferrule. The ferrule allows for the connection to work properly and seat properly. We simply take the wire with the ferrule connected, we insert it into the push-in terminal, make sure it is seated fully, and there we have a fully seated, safe, secure connection. To remove this connection, we simply take a precision screwdriver, push down on the spring, which allows us to remove the wire very simply. The next type of terminal block connection we want to talk about today is referred to as fast connect. The benefit of using this type of terminal block connection is it allows the operator to terminate the wire without the need for stripping the insulation. This is also a gas sealed connection, which helps us prevent the wire from becoming corroded or degraded in any way. Let me demonstrate how we make this connection. Simply take a wire that has not been stripped of its insulation, insert it into the proper terminal, make sure the wire is fully seated. Take a precision screwdriver, insert it into the slot, pry that terminal back to the center of the terminal block. What this does is allows the terminal block to displace the insulation to make proper contact with the wire. Once we've done this, we have a very secure, safe connection that required no tools. The last type of terminal block connection we want to talk about today is referred to as a barrier terminal block. The benefit of being able to use a barrier terminal block is it allows us to use a ring or spade terminal at the end of our wire. This type of terminal block is commonly used in the rail and transportation industries or where vibration might become a common problem. Let me demonstrate how we make this type of connection. We first want to make sure that our wire has either a spade or ring terminal properly crimped and connected. Then we are going to insert the ring terminal over the bolt on the barrier terminal block. We're going to push the lever down on the top of the terminal block until it is fully seated. Then we're going to take a common flathead screwdriver and secure the nut over the bolt. At this point, we have a secure connection that will resist loosening due to vibration we might encounter. As always, you can find any of the products seen in this video on our website. For more information or other training videos, please go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware.